So this comes with Windows 10 Home. What the luck? Come on. Let's get rid of that Windows Home. Let's get some Windows Pro. Copy and paste my code from the description. You can also get Office 2019. Just paste my code. Woof. It's Windows Pro time. All right, do you want to make your boring iPhone footage into cinematic quality? This is what you want. The Sandmark anamorphic lens for iPhone, iPhone X, XR, XS. I'll give you a quick look in a minute and you might see the black bars on the side here. Ignore them because people wanted to see the footage de-squeeze. So I'm going to show you the anamorphic footage de-squeeze and I'll show you how to do that in Final Cut and Premiere. So how do we do it in Final Cut? Well, of course, you need to make a new project. You want to do custom, and this lens is 1.33 squeeze. So you want to change this to 5107, and of course, 2160 if you're filming at 4K. And then you want to do your frame rate that you recorded in. You also have to scale your footage, and you can see the footage is also scaled here. So this is how the footage is normally. And to de squeeze it, you have to do 133%. So 133 on the X axis, and boom, you have that cinematic quality. And in Premiere Pro, the same thing you want to change this to 5017 also you'll have to stretch it out in premieres so you'll have to go to that x axis again and stretch it out by 133 to fill that frame so that's it these squeeze now this thing is designed in california beautiful optics you're going to see how cinematic the footage is 1.33 squeeze 16 by 9 now in the box you get a case and with that case, you also have the lens. This is the anamorphic wide angle cinematic lens. You also get a clip so you can mount it without the case with the clip instead. And you just wind it on. It's that simple. Line up the marks there. And then boom, you have cinematic wide angled lens on your iPhone. Now, if you love Starbucks, that's awesome. But in Melbourne, they're pretty much all half empty. No one drinks Starbucks in Melbourne except for tourists. They only put them in tourist area. But Ash told me, try out this matcha latte. That is horrible. What do you think? Taste it. It smells like sushi. <laughs> all right, all right. Ash, Ash, what are you doing to me? This is terrible. It's like a warm milkshake with the vague taste of matcha, diabetes in a cup. This is where it belongs. All right, let's get some real Melbourne coffee. This is Little Rogue in a lane, hidden. You would never know it's here. Hipster alert, Melbourne coffee is hipster alert. Melbourne is full of pretentious tosses. But have a look at this cinematic footage, okay? The wide angle lens, I can get in this cafe, I can film it all, looks really nice. Now let's have a taste of the coffee and see what it's like. A little cafe over there called Little Rogue. You can see typical Melbourne people are sitting on milk crates, that's what they do, it's that cafe over there. Let's have a taste, hey, let's have a taste. Mm. Always order a flat white in Melbourne. That is good coffee. That is good coffee straight away. Mm. Do not go to Starbucks. This is where you go. All right, now Melbourne is famous for its street art, and I recommend you take some hallucinogens like acid or LSD or whatever. Get onto the street art in Melbourne in all the lanes, famous for the street art, and as you can see, nice bins there, nice smell in this lane. I have no idea who those Sheilas are, but they got a nice set of um, whatevers. Now let's go have a look at Shortstop. I got recommended this, and you can see the wide-angled lens. I can get in there, I can see the whole shop, and that's why it's good. The wide-angled lens is good. That donut was all right. And all right, hipster alert. We're going to Brother Buddha Buddha or something like that. This is full-on hipster cafe and have a look at it look how pretentious this is bloody chairs in the air hippies everywhere or hipsters everywhere it's absolutely full unlike starbucks where they're always empty but look at the cinematic quality of this lens have a look at it it's inside low light you're still getting cinematic quality footage and yes you can see here they look like they've just won tats lotto they look like they're so happy and you can see even though there is grain you get enough light in there and this bloke here has been sold coffee that's two weeks old happy sipping baba boo 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 baba baba piccolo piccolo so it's time to try a piccolo latte from baba hubba hubba let's have a look oh now i will say that it's a bit too warm, it's a bit too hot. I'll forgive them slightly because, you know, it was very packed in there and just trying to pump it out sometimes you get the temperatures a bit wrong, but um, it's a bit too bitter. 
mm, seven seeds coffee I'm not sure I'm a big fan of that so but it is a good coffee nonetheless give it a four out of five now let's go to Manchester Press and as you'll see in here it, this is a beautiful space where people get their work done they bring their laptops and stuff and it is full compared to say um, Starbucks of course it's full nice coffee here bit of latte art beautiful temperature nice rich coffee Melbourne coffee at its best and less my son We've got to get him a babuccino, and he does approve of that babuccino. And as you can see, the lens here, wide angle, awesome. You can get that whole space. Yes, you can see he approves there, loves it. And you can get, you know, single origin coffee here. This is a really nice space. And with this lens, you can see the cinematic quality. Let me know down there in the comments. Do you like the cinematic quality? This is also famous for its bagels. If you like those chewy, rubbery things where they get rid of half the middle. So now let's head on down to another cafe. And of course, Melbourne. You've got to catch the tram. So I've got to go here, get a little bit of a snack. I'm going to go to the Crazy Horse. And I remember when I was like... 13, 14, they used to give student discounts back in the day. That's how it was. The good old days, they give you a student discount. And let's go to Melbourne's famous lanes here. And as you can see, the wide angle at its prime here. I think you'll agree, cinematic quality. Yes, it does sort of fight with the stabilization of the iPhone a little bit. I probably should have filmed in 1080p where the stabilization is better on the iPhone. Now let's go to another Melbourne institution, Brunetti's. And this place, you get some awesome cakes. And of course, it's full, unlike Starbucks. Lots of people here. Also get some crazy croissants if you like that camp French stuff. Now here is a place you definitely need to check out. Duke's Coffee. Of course, it's packed. They don't even let you film there. Got in trouble, but you guys, you know I'm going to try and get in there. And very low light in there. And as you'll see, once the lighting adjusts with the iPhone, you can see still cinematic quality picture there. And you can see in there, packed as usual. And this was my equal favourite coffee. And as you can see, the latte art, like a gentleman's sausage. United! United! So after all that coffee, I need a slash. I need a slash. Where's the dunny? Ah, that was a relief. Now, I hope those psychedelics are kicking in now and you're getting that beautiful Melbourne effect. As you can see here, gentlemen's sausage pumps up in the sky. That's beautiful art. And as you can see, Asian Japanese coffee. And it's just packed, absolutely packed to the rafters here. You can see everybody's just dying to get this Japanese coffee, just like Starbucks, absolutely full. And you can get your filter coffee here and everything. Look at him. He's under so much pressure. He's making so many coffees. Then I went to the Leica store and I said, hey, you look at the optics of this lens on my phone. It is awesome. Then we went to the town hall, went past another Starbucks. And then you'll see here, of course, Starbucks half empty, only tourists in there. So now we're going to walk down to where it all started so we're going to melbourne and as you can see here look at the wide angle the melbourne's wide boulevards and you can see it all with this wide angle and now we're going to catch a tram down to pellegrini's where it all started and you can see look this guy he's driving in a tram lane you can tell where all the tourists are absolutely off his chops and look at a wide angle getting everything in nice cinematic quality let's go up to the nicest part of Melbourne, yes, you can see it's a bit run down here because all the nightclubs closed in this area and now this is what it is. This is where it all started. 1954, the first espresso machine in Australia. Italian migrants. This is where the coffee culture started in Melbourne. Pellegrini's Bar. This is the place you have to go. And when you're at Pellegrini's, get a plate of pasta. Whatever you do, you get the bread with it so you can dip into the sugo, have a nice taste of it absolutely homemade by the nunas and now you get a proper espresso this is a proper espresso macchiato and that white little bit there that's what a macchiato should be it should not be a freaking cappuccino and as you can see here just like starbucks no one is here at all and you can see how small it is and the wide angled lens i can still film in here it's awesome and i'm still getting cinematic quality lots of light as you can see it's packed in here it's hard to get a seat but i definitely recommend if you're in melbourne come to pellegrino's it's where it all started the cafe culture started and in ligon street of course go down to ligon street as well if you want some italian fare and you can see look how awesome the cinematic quality is
that wide angled lens, I really like it. And Melbourne does lend itself to cinematics because Melbourne just looks good if you want that filmic sort of look. Let's go for a walk down here yes. to another Starbucks. I don't even know why they have Starbucks here. But um, yes, of course you can see they're half empty again. And I've saved the best for last, fellas. I've really saved the best for last. One dollar, 7-Eleven coffee. Everybody's raving about it. Is it good? Can it be as good as everybody's saying? Well, let's find out. Go in there, get a cappuccino. But it's about as good as Starbucks. So, after all that coffee, I've got to get my favourite Muslim treats here. Now I've got to have a lamb sandwich. Yes, Melbourne is not only famous for coffee, it's famous for savlakis too. And did you know that there are more Greeks in Melbourne than any other city in the world other than Athens? And... Do yourself a favour, get a souvlaki when you're in Melbourne. Mm. So I hope you enjoyed this tour of Melbourne. Let me know what you guys think of the cinematic quality of this lens. Links in the description, of course. Catch you in the next one. Tally ho.